Hi, my name is Ed Wazer. I designed this wind tunnel for E.O. Smith High School with Mark Drobny from the University of Connecticut, and he fabricated this wind tunnel. So I'm just going to go over the major components first. So this entire structure is made out of eighth inch acrylic. And then we'll go up to the front and take a look at the inlet cone. So this is the inlet cone right here. So the inlet cone starts with a honeycomb material. This honeycomb material is one and a half inches deep and it's 30 by 30 inches wide. Then it's followed three inches downstream by a windscreen, standard windscreen from your uh, local hardware store. Then we have this shape, which I acquired from online. So this is a three foot section that's the inlet cone, tapers down to a 12 by 12 box that's 24 inches long. That's the test chamber for the wind tunnel. Then we have our diffuser. So the diffuser starts at the same 12 by 12 and then expands out to 20 by 20. And then we have our fan. Uh, the fan is a 120 watt, 12 volt fan. And then in the middle section is our measurement section. So we'll start with the airfoil. So we have an airfoil that is uh, 3D printed. This is an eight inch airfoil, it happens to be a NACA 6512. And so we have a door here that just pops off so that we can switch out airfoils. If we so choose. And then we'll just pop that back on. Okay. And then up to like the, the measurement section. So there's a delta P sensor. The delta P is connected to a pitot tube, pitot tube. So the pitot tube connected to delta P. Delta P is measuring delta pressure. Delta pressure can then be converted to velocity. Then we also have uh, two displays for drag and lift. So these are measuring grams and they are connected to load cells and load cells measure weight. And so there's one load cell here. This load cell is measuring drag. And then there's another load cell that's measuring lift. In addition to those, there's the controls for angle of attack. So right now, the airfoil is at a 10 degree angle of attack, and I can turn this knob and we can adjust the angle of attack. And so it's five, and this is positive five, and then down to zero, and if I kept turning, we'd go into a negative angle of attack. So, so that's a basic operation, and then uh, just to show a little bit how the load cells work, loosen this up just so we can see some motion here and so now this is kind of floating so if you push up on this you can see that this if I push up on the air this is equivalent to pushing up on the airfoil if I push up on the airfoil that pushes down on this lever over here and when the load cell is in place which I just took it out it would push down on that load cell so now I'm going to slide that load cell in and so now if I again push up on this you'll see a reading on the uh, load cell reader telling us how many grams of lift we have. Okay, so enough talk, let's turn it on. So there's an on off switch here and then there's a control of the fan. So I have the system on full and so it's telling us the delta pressure in Pascal's is 30. You can convert that to velocity. And right now, at zero angle of attack, it's saying that the, the drag is nine grams and that the lift is currently 131 grams. And so now I can change the angle of attack. And I'll change it to 10 degrees and then we'll take a look to see what the readings are. Okay, angle of attack is 10. Uh, drag has gone up to 13 and lift has gone up to 274. And then we'll do one more. So I'll bring it up to 15 degrees, and the drag is 20, and the, the lift is now 300. And then we might as well do one more extreme event here. And I'll bring it all the way up to 25 degrees. And so if you take a look at the airfoil, Obviously, this is at a much steeper angle of attack, and now our drag is 
93 grams and our lift is 300 something so the, the lift is increasing the drag is, is drastically increasing if we look and take a look at the airfoil we just put a couple red streamers off the back those streamers are are fluttering all about now and I'm gonna slowly decrease the angle so now we're at 20 degrees and they're still fluttering now we're at 15 degrees they're still fluttering and now we're starting to get a little more stable flow now we're at 10 and 5 and zero. So it's very, the flow is very stable off the back of the airport at zero degrees. And it looks, it looks good. So you can switch out different airfoils, uh, change your angle of attack, change the velocity of your fan, and do a lot of fun experiments in a high school classroom.